Palm Beach Maritime Academy, student, faculty, and staff. I'm Rachel Barr, and you're watching the Palm Beach Maritime Elementary Edition. Well, me and my co-host, George Hernandez and Victoria Valor. Victoria, you have a report on the real woman packets? Yes, Rachel. Packets went home last week and are due to incompleted and returned by Friday, January 23rd. If you have any questions or need another packet, please call the office. Is it true that you may lose your spot at school if you don't re roll, Victoria? Yeah, Rachel. These forms are important because they help us figure out how many students, how many openings we have for new students. If you don't turn in your form by the due date, a new student can get your spot. Enrollments for new students start the next day. We better make sure we get all our forms on time. George. What do you have for us on winter camp? Thank you, Rachel. The first winter camp was a huge success. The students enjoyed bowling, skating, movies, the park, the library, and the Boynton Beach Mall. The trip to CC's Pizza was really fun because students were able to fill up on pizza, then get their fill of games. That sounds like fun, George. Will there be another camp? Yes, Rachel. Plans are already underway for a spring break camp. Thank you, George. Victoria, let's hear what's happening in first grade. Sure, Rachel. First graders are learning about how characters feel, what they do, and why they do it. They are also learning to write personal stories about moments from their lives. That sounds like fun. What else are they doing? Well, Rachel, they're learning how to count money. That's a useful skill. George, what's up in fifth grade? We're really busy in fifth grade, Rachel. In math, we're studying how to bar add, subtract, borrow with fractions and mixed numbers. We're even learning how to find the role in mixed fraction patterns. Is it difficult? Parts of it is. That's a fun, George. What else are fifth graders doing? In science, they are studying bo the body system and they, uh, how they work. In writing, we're studying hi on historical research papers. Wow, we are really busy. Victoria, I've heard a special trip day is coming up. Yes, Rachel. On Friday, January 23rd, we're asking all students, administrators, and staff members to wear their green shirts to celebrate equality and diversity in our school. It's also a way to honor Do Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who helped our nation to see all people are equal and regardless of race. Dr. King is an important figure in our country's history, Victoria. Thank you. George, what do you have on Lantana's one's last award program? Yes, Rachel. The First, I would like to say it is nice so, to have Ms. Dvorak back from her maternity leave. Ms. Dvorak held an assembly where students were recognized to, for being classroom academic leaders, good citizens, and for raising their grades. The award are given by the Lantana Kiwanis Club, which is a service organization that helps people where we will have two more award programs this year. Great job, George. I also heard the Kauai's provide food for Thanksgiving and donated bikes for Bug Awards. Yes, Rachel, the bikes are a great idea for our students to get good grades, so two lucky students will receive the bikes at the end of the school year. Another great par partner for education is the Lantana Police Explorers. They are high school students that write raise funds to adopt a family for the holidays. Wow, that's awesome. If anyone would like to become a partner for education, please contact Ms. DeVore. By the way, did you know we're having a special assembly today? We'll be selling chocolate and cookie dough. Well, that's two of my favorites, Rachel. Why are we raising money? The money will make improvements to our playground and it will expand it. Well, that's all the news for today. I'm Rachel Barra. I'm George Hernandez. And I'm Victoria Barrello. Go out and make it a good day. day.